the encouraging story of the day. And we love to hear those encouraging stories from you, what God's doing in your life, the cool stuff. 800-900-1300. This is just an amazing story. If you've been waiting for someone you love to just turn around, maybe he or she have just been headed in the wrong direction. Brad's story, I think, will encourage you. Go ahead, buddy. Me and a girlfriend had a kid out of wedlock when we were 19, and both from very bad families. Neither one of us were Christian. We broke up soon thereafter, but I felt like the Lord wanted me to wait on her, and she went back to the club. And anyways, I waited on this girl for nine years, got her back, been married eight years, got two more kids now. That is amazing. And while you waited, she's just doing the club scene and whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's an amazing woman of God now, homeschools the kids. What made you wait for her? I, I'd recently become a Christian right around the time we had broken up, and I felt like the Lord wanted me to wait on her. It was only a couple of years later that people started telling me that God doesn't speak anymore. Well, I said, well, he spoke to me. Uh, and, and I just kept waiting, waiting, waiting. It was tough. It was not easy by any stretch of imagination. It helped her get out of a really, really bad relationship. It was so bad, she gave our son up to me so that she could go pursue her sinful lifestyle. Wow, Brad. So the child you had with her out of wedlock so many years ago, she ended up giving to you so she could just go party and live her life. Yeah, yeah. So okay. yeah, he, he, so he stayed with me around from five till around nine. We got back together, got married a year later when he was 10. He's now 19. And uh, now we got two more. <laughs> what a beautiful story. Yeah. I can't help but think, where would, in your wife's name, Krissa. where would Krissa, Krissa be if you had not oh. waited patiently oh. for nine oh, years? Listen, I, I, I'm giving you the clean version. Yeah, I bet. Seriously, you, you won't believe what she did to herself yeah. and how far she went. And I, honestly, I've never seen anyone heal so fast. You know, you remind me of a scripture that says uh, we're to regard God's patience as salvation. Mm-hmm. Oh, so thankful for his patience. And Brad, here you waited for Carissa and to think of how often God waits on us. Yeah. And he's there every time. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's God.